Forever started last night in Belarus. Yes, Alexiev has won Belarus' Eurovision 2018 national selection. He put the controversies behind him and said, I'm going to come out there, I'm going to slay, and I'm going to spend a lot of money on some lights, and it worked. Are you guys ready to talk about it? <laughs> Let's, Let's do, do this! this. Yes, Alexiev won both the televote and the jury vote. He had a very impressive light display. I think we need to remember that in Belarus, the staging at the national selection is never particularly impressive, but he managed to do quite a bit with the stage on offer. There was lightning, there was a bodysuit. I mean, this was mixing Danny Saucedo from Hello D Festival in with the red heart blood of Sergei Lazarev, with the lightning of Sergei Lazarev. And it was impressive. Oh, and Victoria! There was some Victoria <laughs> Melody Festival and projection screen realness. All of that to say it looked great. It didn't sound as good as I had hoped. I think perhaps he was having a rough night vocally. There is a lot of time to improve, to find proper backing vocalists to work with him. So yeah, I think for Belarus this is a fantastic entry, and I'm optimistic that they'll be able to do something even more impressive at Eurovision. Chris, what do you think? Um, I think definitely uh, visually it was going for a lot. I mean, the suit kind of had, it looked like the suit malfunctioned a little bit at points, but with, with something that technical and that much LED that he's wearing, it's probably bound to happen. Um, and obviously it'll be interesting to see whether they go for something different in Lisbon because the LED effects won't be able to replicate in the wall. So... Yeah, there's obviously going to be a lot happening with the song. I think part of the problem, you have to remember, Alexiev doesn't... I don't think he usually sings in English. I think most of his songs are on English language. Um, you know, the first interview he did in English was with with, was with you. Um, so I think maybe, you know, as he gets more time and he gets more used to the song in English, that might help. Um, and also, I kind of feel like they tortured that track so much to make it legal for Eurovision like it they've just completely taken a really good tune and now it, it there's moments where it almost feels like it's forcing him to be flat to try and hit those notes and to, to make it work with the song that being said that's a lot of excuses and you kind of be like I, I, I wish that they had chosen another entry from the selection but I think there's there's stuff that they can work with here. It just didn't. It sounded bad. I mean, I heard it this morning with a slight hangover, and it was painful. Like, let me just let me be very clear. That was not a good way to start my morning. Um, yeah, I, I I'm hopeful that it can improve, but that wasn't a great way to sort of introduce yourself to Eurovision. No, not at all. I was watching it live last night, and it was really bad. I mean. Like, live, he sounded one of the worst of all 10 singers, and we're talking 10 singers in Belarus national selection, who isn't uh, known for having great uh, singers, not great songs. Uh, the problem, I mean, I think the main problem with last night's performance is that I didn't feel a connection between what he was saying and what he was doing. I mean, he was singing about love, and then he was in a, in a jumpsuit made of LEDs, just to show he had... LEDs that like like he has the money like he's a big star yeah okay but I mean outside I mean outside Belarus Ukraine Russia nobody knows him I mean what I feel is that he might try to go a bit too much for the like hey look at me I'm a big star I'm wearing this shit I have all this money and it won't come across as likable in the rest of Europe that's one of my main fears the other thing is that uh, I mean the song is I don't think this song is really uh, Western Europe appropriate, let's say. I feel it's it's a bit too too niche for for the whole of Europe. But well, let's see if they work with it. Well, let's see. You no, know, they have to work with it because as it stands, it's going to end in the semi-final. Now I celebrate diversity of opinion, but let me just say I feel that there is potential here because. Yeah. <laughs> The studio cut is really, I do quite like it. It's dripping in this Eastern nostalgia, and you're totally right. It does have like a local kiss, a local flavor. 
but I am confident that there are enough Eastern countries that participate in Eurovision that he could get some points. Um, but in any event, before we talk about how he'll do, let's actually cut to the rest of the Weeby bloggers around the world who are watching, and they have <laughs> their opinions. Roll the tape! Hello, it's Aline from Belgium. Belarus made a good choice by sending Alexiev to Lisbon. I think he is a good artist, but of course he should work on his live performance because um, we all know that it wasn't really good. Um, but of course he has a time to work on it and I hope he will work on it until it's finally done. He should get some more v vocal lessons or something and I think then it will be a good entry for Belarus. Hi, it's Suzanne. Alexiev, Belarus, forever. I like this song. It's very different than 2017's song from Belarus with the duet. Um, even though it's a love song, I rather love it because, well, Alexiev, he is totes adorbs. I might want to be with him forever if he weren't wearing that crazy outfit. Um, his costume, while it's really cool with the fire and the the um, lightning in the background, um, it kind of reminds me of a Hunger Games costume that Katniss or Peter might wear. Um, nonetheless, like the song and wish Alexiev much luck in the contest and with finding his forever love. Oi, what a national final. I need to vent. Good evening, everybody. Sebastian from Sydney. Can I first say mad respect to, to Alexiev? I think he is an amazing artist, but this is not the right track for him. Um, first of all, lyrically, you know when you put in foreign words into Google Translate and it doesn't come across sounding quite right? That is this song. Please leave it in Russian. It sounds far more beautiful in Russian. Uh, number two with staging, can I say the screen grabs on his Instagram for this song look amazing, check it out, but um, he needs to be careful not to come across looking a little bit like Sergei Lazarev light or a Mon Zomolo light because when you start adding light to the end of things it starts to sound like my miserable morning coffee, not good. Um, here is hoping yet again for another revamp for this song, please Belarus. Hey Wee Wee Blogs, this is Ant from Australia and Belarus has just made its decision for Eurovision 2018, perhaps the most obvious decision of the 2018 national final season. The song Forever is very mediocre. I don't think it's going to do particularly well and really there's nothing exciting about this song. The singer, he's a great singer and a great performer but honestly, they just need to revamp or change this song because it's not really going to do him any favours at Eurovision. Hello everyone, this is Anthony from Australia. So talking about Alex Seev and his song Forever, the first time that I heard it was at the national final and I didn't quite like his voice. I didn't think it was on par with what it should be. However, the staging was quite good with the light show and the light costume that he was wearing. However, when I heard it a second time with the studio version, I did quite like the song. Therefore, I believe that he needs to improve his voice for the uh, nights at Eurovision and that will gel together with his quite captivating performance, his staging, in order for him to go to the final. Hi, it's Misha in the Czech Republic and what to say about Belarus. When I started watching the videos, video from the national final, I just wanted to cut my ears off because it sounded so horrible. I'm sorry, the live performance was just awful. And the song is not better either. It just sounds like every other uh, post-Soviet country magic or what it is, ballad or whatever, it's just not good, it's a poor quality, maybe it has a good production and a famous singer behind it, but it's just no good, and I think it will get lost in the semi-final, and hopefully it will. Hey, Jonathan from the UK here. Okay, was Forever my clear standout song of the national selection? No. Was it the best overall package that Belarus could have sent? Probably yes. Vocals were obviously interesting at points, but has this suddenly become a dead set non-qualifier? Absolutely not. It's fair to say we don't normally go to the Belarusian selection for big quality stage shows, 
So if Alexei can do that just in the small Belarusian studio, then who knows what he can pull off with the resources in Lisbon. So it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. No need to worry, rain falling down, it's our happiest story, and there's no one around. Listen, Alexiev, you are amazing. That's all I'm gonna say, you're amazing. It was the best song, they put you in the number two running order, you still killed it, you look great. You sound not so great, but guess what? You've got three months to fix that. But you definitely have the best song. Congratulations. See you in Lisbon. Bye. Okay, so a real mix of opinions there, echoing some of our sentiments. How do you guys think this might do at Eurovision? Is there potential? What tweaks do you want to see? I think that there is potential for it to qualify because I, it kind of feels like they obviously have time to work on it. And I think that Alexiev clearly wants this. Like, he's been very much... Like, the fact that they did so much to the track so that he could go with it clearly means that he believes in it. And that's really good, I always think. Um, that being said, I don't know. I just feel like if they overdo it, it's going to end up looking more like um, Ivan but than, like, a Sergei Lazarev kind of thing. Like, Sergei, it worked. Like, they threw a lot at it, but he sold it. Whereas Ivan, it was kind of like, oh, like, you're doing a lot here. And it's not, like, it, it, it came across a bit too much, I think. So there's a divide. Um, if his vocals improve, then I think that that will help it a lot. Um, you know, if, and I think he, I think it will. I definitely think that there is a lot of potential here. Um, just not, at the moment, based on that semi-final, uh, based on the national final performance, I wouldn't see it making it out of the semi-final, but I think it could. I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, made it out to the final because actually, it's it's quite possible that he does. He's, I mean, he's well known, so making it from a semi-final shouldn't be that uh, hard for him. However, he needs to work on his voice because if not, the juries are going to kill him, and we're probably going to have like a case of Anna, Niel Anna Nielsen, but in reverse. So like the public voting for him out, and the, the jury is giving him like two points or something like that. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he makes it. I'm really quite confident he will make it. I think that they have enough time. Chris, great point. He wants it. Um, mm. He was nervous last night. You could tell. And I think we need yeah. to give this the context. There's been nonstop drama with his submission and entry. And so last night was kind of, you know, letting it all out, moving on. And so in some ways, having a bad performance, as long as you make it, is a good thing because you get it out of your system. Like yeah. he's been at the bottom. So now he can just go up. He will take vocal lessons. He will work on the track to tweak it so it's in his register. He'll do all these things, you know, and they already clearly have a concept for staging. We haven't seen the final version, but they have a concept. There may not be LEDs in Lisbon, but they can roll out a screen just like Sergei did. I think, I think they've got the cash for a screen. And so, yeah, it's looking good. The fact that Belarus allowed him to enter despite all the controversy suggests they also see something in the future that they know is good. And like, we're not privy to that. So I just think, because Olga Samachat, Samalaka, I can't say her last name, the HOD is a very smart woman, very, very clever. She knows how to make staging work. And I just feel like, yeah, they've got some surprises down the line for us. And I'm actually really excited to see them. And mm. P.S., y'all, in our interview with him, he is such a nice guy. People say what they will, but he's actually a very, he comes off so well. And I want to see that Alexiev on stage, not the nervous Alexiev, you know, the flash nervous i want to see the real kind sweetheart that we know <laughs> and just very very quickly i personally thought gunesh was really good last night i like her song don't cry there's something teeny bopper sweet about it reminds me of ireland 2009 and if alexi had not been here she would have won i believe if i can remember the table correctly and i hope she keeps going because she will have her moment in the future it is written in the stars gunesh you will go to eurovision one day uh, I mean, Shuma should have won by a landslide. I mean, I've been listening to them for all day. They were so good. I wish they went to Eurovision, but I mean, I get it. It's a bit too niche for, for Eurovision as a whole. Like, um, people wouldn't really get it. But yeah, I love it. And they have a place in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think Shuma would have been my one, but I think I, I, I'm not surprised Alexi have won. I, I, I think everybody knew kind of going into it, like, 
it, it, was, it was the right fit, I think, for Belarus this year almost. Like, they want to improve on Navi. Schumer would have been a continuation and a good one, but I kind of feel like they want to aim higher. And I guess Alexia probably was the one that they could do that with, I think. Yeah. Y'all are very experimental with this Schumer. But no, I can totally <laughs> see why you're into that. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you happy that Alexiev is headed to Eurovision? What tweaks do you want to see? Do you think he'll be able to improve the vocal? What happened last night? Let us know here on Weebly Blogs. And make sure to like the video. And get some comments and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.